Hi, Dr. Yas here. I feel it's time for all those of you who are suffering from chronic pain to get a real sense of where the existing model stands in terms of its ability to diagnose and treat the cause of pain. I think for so many of you who are suffering, you perceive your situation as being individual to yourself. So when you've had one, two, three, four, or five surgeries to resolve your pain, and you're still having your pain, you think to yourself that the problem must be the system works, it just hasn't worked for me yet. If you go to a variety of different practitioners, all different specialties, and you're still suffering with your pain, you think to yourself, well, there is an entrenched system. It must be entrenched for a reason because it's effective and therefore the problem must be with me. It's my body is not responding to the quote unquote successful mechanisms that are employed by the different specialties addressing chronic pain. The sad reality that you might not be privy to is the fact that it isn't working for anybody. That for most surgeries, the failure rates are in the 70 and 80 percentile. The fact that roughly 130 million Americans and roughly 1 billion people in the world are suffering from chronic pain has to be a recognition of the systemic failure of the system. It's not its inability to address any one particular person's problems. It's everybody's problem worldwide. And the reality that you must eventually accept and face is that the core principle by which all people are being diagnosed is the MRI. For pretty much just about anybody, there is no really any other attempt to diagnose the cause, the actual tissue eliciting the symptoms that you're experiencing, other than the MRI. I'm contacted from people around the world and it is shocking to hear the same exact system being played out country after country. I have pain. I went to a medical practitioner. I got an MRI. It found a structural variation. They are treating the structural variation. My pain is getting worse. If that sounds like what's happening to you, you should no longer be surprised because it is systemic. It is the core principle of how diagnoses are being derived, which is baseless, baseless, no basis. The MRI is a completely invalid tool. You have been programmed over 30 years to believe that when you hear the words herniated disc, pinched nerve, stenosis, arthritis, meniscal tear, labral tear, rotator cuff tear, spondylolisthesis, compression fracture, as soon as you hear these words or words similar to those, it is to incite a feeling that these type of structural variations must be perceived as the equivalent of cancer in the idea that the simple identification of the structural variations implies that they require an intervention to resolve them. The harsh reality is that these structural variations are degenerative in nature, take years if not decades to develop, 
and must be perceived more like wrinkles on the face. A wrinkle is a structural variation of the skin, but nobody's jumping off to get skin grafts because you recognize the fact that the integrity of the skin is still intact. Even at the site of the wrinkle, the skin works to prevent bacteria or antigens from entering the body. So although there's a structural variation, the integrity of the structure is still intact. The same can be said for every aspect of every structure when dealing with these internal abnormalities. But because you have been programmed to believe that, oh my God, I have this, it must be taken care of, you are sucked into a system that then pushes you towards requiring you get surgeries or any other procedures. And certainly the failure of the surgeries has led the medical establishment to promote the idea of surgery as a last resort. You have to tell them when you want to get the surgery. The whole premise is insane. If surgery was a valid mechanism, you would be incited to have it today. There would be every effort. Every person who got a surgery would be resolved, symptoms resolved, fully functional, but that's not what you see. The reality is that all the treatments being performed are being performed on a baseless diagnosis. The core principle about the way the system works that confuses you and allows you to be sucked in to this idea is the fact that the MRI is always performed at the time you're having your symptoms. Therefore, when the structural variation is identified, it is the first time it's being identified and it is being identified at the time you have your symptoms. Therefore, a correlation is made. The structural variation must be causing the symptoms. For 30 years, you've been programmed to perceive these as requiring an intervention. Therefore, okay, well, that makes sense. What is not being promoted to you is what if an MRI was performed before you had your symptoms? Let's say months or years prior to having your symptoms. What would that MRI find? The answer? Exactly the same thing as when the MRI was taken when you had your symptoms. The reason is those structural variations have existed. They have been perpetuating, progressively, slowly deteriorating over years. The reality is that you happen to have a muscular deficit which led to pain in the area where the MRI finds the structural variation and that's how the mechanism allows for the structural variation to be identified at the time you're having pain and the attempt to correlate the structural variation to the symptom is made. But just think about, let's say you had your pain for a couple of weeks or a month or two and the MRI finds a structural variation and you are told that that's the cause of your pain. That is to imply that that structural variation must have occurred at the time the pain began and therefore it is existing while the pain occurs. So it is to say that if you took an MRI the day, a month, or a year before the, structure, uh, the pain began, you would not be able to find that structural variation. But there clearly is no one in the medical community that would ever promote the idea that herniated discs, stenosis, arthritis, meniscal tears, any of these structural variations occur in just weeks or months. They occur in years and decades. So clearly they had to be there before your symptoms began. And therefore, if they were there before, how could you possibly make the attempt to correlate them to your symptoms? It is simply because the MRI was taken at the time you had your symptoms. That's it. But it's a fallacy. It is a self-fulfilling prophecy. If you had taken the MRI before you had your structure of the symptoms, you would have found the structural variations. If you take the MRI when you have the symptoms, you'll find the structural variations. So basically, you're going to find structural variations. The fact that you happen to be taking the MRI while you're in pain is not justification to say, therefore, the structural variation is causing the symptom or the pain. If, in fact, structural variations cause pain, then that should mean people who don't have pain shouldn't have structural variations, right? That's logic. 
90% of the people over the age of 60 with no back pain have bulging or degenerative discs. 90%. That clearly does not go along with this premise. So the harsh reality is the fact that the MRI is the primary re mechanism for diagnosing the cause of your pain. It is 100% valid. Another very sad and harsh reality is that those who are trying to help you resolve your pain are just as programmed as you are to believe that the structural variations I identified on MRIs are the cause of your pain. They have been educated and trained to believe the MRI is valid. So when those findings come back, they are programmed, they are robotic. They will simply say, yes, yes, the MRI is correct. They're not in a position to determine whether that's a valid or invalid finding. So you're going to people who have no choice but to acknowledge the MRI as being valid and therefore lead you on the path to unresolved chronic pain because the wrong tissue is being treated. And it doesn't matter who the specialty is. I don't care if you go to a neurologist, an orthopedist, a physiatrist, a podiatrist, a pain management doctor, a chiropractor, a physical therapist. It doesn't matter. It's all the same mush. It is all just a sense of baseless diagnostic mishmash, and it is leading all of you to having unending chronic pain. More importantly, another harsh reality, there is no basis for a cause of why you're having your pain. Only the OS method has the answer to that. And that is that you live in a gravity environment, you're trying to perform functional activities. The muscles that are required to perform those have to be strong enough to perform them or they will break down and elicit pain or they can refer pain or they can misalign joint surfaces and create joint pain or they can impinge on nerves and actually cause the nerve to refer symptoms. So it's a muscular cause with a neurological symptom. That's what sciatica is. Unless you're willing to recognize that as the only viable option, you will never have your pain resolved. So the harsh reality is that chronic pain is here to stay until the existing medical model worldwide is abolished and the MRI is no longer used. The proper way to identify the cause of pain is to interpret the body's presentation of symptoms. That is the symptoms being emitted by the very tissue in distress that's trying to create conscious awareness of the distress of that tissue so you can get the proper intervention to not address the symptoms such as pain, but to address the distress of the tissue that is eliciting those very symptoms. Anyone who's trying to treat you based on the, on the idea of altering your awareness of your symptoms is doing you an injustice. Until the distress of the, the tissue is identified and resolved, the symptoms will continue to persist. You need to get the OS method. It is the only method. It is a very sad statement that worldwide, it is the only method that truly utilizes the body's ability to emit symptoms, to indicate what tissue is in distress, and to give you the ability to identify that tissue in 95 to 98% of cases, it's muscular. Targeted progressive resistance exercise is the answer. You need to seek it and get the YAS method. It is your one hope. I hope everyone that sees this video sends it worldwide. Get it viral. It is the only way you will be able to, as a group, join together and end this false use of the MRI as the way to identify the cause of your pain and therefore misdiagnose you and lead you on a path to terminal chronic pain. If you want to get more information about the Yas Method, go to www.mitchellyas.com. Go on YouTube at Dr. Mitchell Yas. Go on Facebook at Dr. Mitchell Yas. You want to email me? You can email me at drmitch at mitchellyas.com. Call me on my cell phone, 516-449-1359. The answer is we must band together. We have to revolutionize the way pain is treated. The only way to do so is with the Yas method. For now, this is Dr. Mitchell Yas, wishing you a pain-free, fully functional life. Bye-bye for now.